What is happening, sports fans? To main man Matt from the DFS Five Pack. I'm with my main my main man, the DFS Patriot. It is Monday, March seventh. We haven't been with you for a couple days. Happy to be back on here. What's happening, brother? Yeah, what's going on? You know, big old weekend. Uh, MMA crushed it. Bookie didn't like me this morning. So it's been a great weekend. Hope we can continue the roll uh, going forward for the week. Always got to like that feeling on Monday. For me, it's more of some Monday scaries over here, but uh, they they will shortly pass, I hope, at least. Um, my wife is at work, which is always nice. So, yeah, man, we got, we got a nice NBA slate to talk about tonight. There's some really good spots. There's some potential tricky spots as well, just with so many guys out and questionable. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, this is like we were kind of saying before, there's guys that you didn't hear of or know about a week ago that are going to be primed into some locations that you might have to play them tonight. Agreed. All right, so I just pulled up the slate. So like I said, eight gamer. Uh, so I'll start off with Atlanta and Detroit. So Atlanta side, Herder's questionable, which, again, you know, actually questionable. Uh, what, what's your take on this game? I mean, Detroit stinks. They've been playing a little bit better. The problem with Atlanta and Detroit is that there's teams that are – really shorthanded and these are not two of them if herders out i mean it helps the other atlanta guys but from a ds from a dfs perspective just because of portland and you know the golden state Mm -hmm. i can't see prioritizing these guys here to be honest yeah no there's nothing prioritized for me i mean again i don't again don't mind going back to my guy bogged down but that's about it and but he is nowhere near a must nowhere near a priority with all that other value that's available agreed i mean that's the problem. He just doesn't fit the slate, at least for me right now. But, of course, he's a solid play if you want to get to that tier. Right, right, exactly. I don't see myself getting to that tier, full disclosure. Same. All right, Detroit side, Diallo's questionable. Again, kind of irrelevant, but, yeah, okay. Uh, again, this is kind of a similar situation. There's nothing that I, nothing that's jumping at me from this side. No. Even less so. I mean, right. no. Just, yeah. just no. <laughs> Just know, I mean, these guys are all mid-tier options, and if you were playing like that, you could look at any of Cunningham, Bay, or Grant, but it's not the slate for it in my mind, like not even a little bit. Nope, not even close. And God only knows what other information we're going to get later on throughout the day. I mean, there's guys priced in the 4 to 5K range that I think outscore these guys, so it's not even in consideration. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, All right, so Chicago and Philly. So Vooch, is is he actually playing? Yeah, he's playing. He's he's playing. I, I heard, but we'll likely play in Monday's matchup. So if he's out, do you look at a guy like Tristan Thompson? Thompson started anyways next to Vooch, which is interesting. I, mean, I saw I was very confused when I saw that. Didn't do anything with it, but like was very confused. Yes. When I didn't see that. Nah, I'm not really gonna look here probably. I think there's just better value. Takes mm-hmm. up the center spot. So no, I won't. Yep. Yep. All right. Um and then I mean, obviously, if Vooch is out, it helps out the Levines of the world. But again, you know, the Rosens, but I'm, again, not going to get there. No, but I'll say this, man. We've been talking about Levine a bunch. as like the guy, he won some people some tournaments uh, a couple days ago because he went nuts. And he's cheap for 52. You know what I'm saying? Right. He was like, okay, and went for 52. So that's not like crazy score, but it's pretty damn good. And he was in multiple winning lineups. Yeah, so that's even better. Yeah, I mean, no issues with going back to him again. More so if Vooch is out. Yeah, different spot. I, I probably don't get to anything from this game either, to be honest. Yeah, so the other side of this game is Philly. Everyone's healthy. Yeah, just probably a no touch for me. Yeah, I'm not going to Philly here. There's other studs I like more. No, yeah. thank you. I'll tell you this. I mean, your boy Maxi. I said I wasn't going to pay 6600 for him. He's not well. shooting incredibly. Um he did ball in that Cleveland game. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Then he came back to earth. I mean, that other game was they played awful that game against Miami, though. Yeah, I'm not going to spend 6700 on him, but I will nope. shout him out for clearly being their th- number three right now over Tobias Harris. Yeah, which is telling, to say the least. Mm-hmm. All right, next is Houston and Miami. So Houston just went into overtime, right? Was that them? No, no, it was, it was, it was, oh, it was no, New Orleans, my bad. Houston won in Memphis last night. Our boy Jalen Green continues to play well, man. Um, 
So I yeah, hit with Schroeder out. Like, I don't think this is the spot I want to go to Jalen Green. But, man, I was real happy with his performance last night. Uh, started off just okay. I'm a fan. Like, he shoots. That boy honestly, shoots. It's not a good spot. But even if they pull out like he's going to get run, right. I don't need him here. It's not the slate for it, but he's on my good side. Yeah, no, yeah, he's been playing some real good ball. And, again, like you said, he's playing every minute he can. doesn't matter what the scoreboard is. Really. Yeah, exactly. So, other than that, I can't see anyone from Houston. I mean, it's no. a tough spot in Miami. They're pretty healthy. Back-to-back. Back-to-back, amen. Yep. All right, Miami side. So, Lowry's still out. Is Oladima, wasn't there a chance he's going to play tonight? Yeah, I think there is a chance. I just don't. I don't know. Well, there's no way uh, with Depot, but <clears throat> he muddies up the waters there. It's hard to talk about Miami right now without knowing their injury situation. Yeah, I still like our guy Gabe Vincent. I think he's still too cheap. Hasn't done much the past two, but I still think he's too cheap for what he can do. I don't know um, what his ownership's going to look like. I mean, he's too cheap for what he can do, but <clears throat> he hasn't been doing it. It's a good spot against Houston, but, like, I don't know. They're healthy. Right. Same thing with Jimmy Butler, too. Like, don't you just see this game being a blowout game? I do. I, that said, I, I don't want to, like, not use guys because Miami's right. playing too well. I don't love Butler in spots like this. I like him more in, in spots against, like, Philly. That said, he wasn't great there. He hasn't been very good recently. No. Um, it's been a while. About a, guy, a guy that has upside 8,500, he's got it in this spot. Right. Right. Because I feel like if they blow out, it's probably because he went bananas. You know, him and him it's and not, Bam. It's not definite, though, that, that it could be Hero. You know what I mean? Like, right. But isn't so, Hero questionable? Oh, no. That's, no, no, he's not. That's Caleb oh. Martin. That's a good one. Butler's price tag's pretty, pretty appealing. I'll say that. Yeah. Exactly. Um, all right, so the next here, and we now now we get to some talking points finally. Portland. All right, so Lillard, Nurk, Simons, Winslow, Little, Bledsoe, Zeller. I don't know why they still have Smith Jr. on here. And everyone's out. That's just everyone's out. Do we just go like this? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, mm-hmm. how do you not? Yeah, he's 3,800, no Simons. He was a great play last night, and Mm -hmm. he's an even better play tonight. I mean, there's no getting away from him here. And the other Portland guys have been, like, priced up a bit. Right. Nothing crazy, but still priced up a little bit where he hasn't gotten that Nothing crazy at all, but, like, you know, Watford's 5K now. Like, there's a big difference between that and 3,800. So, like, all of them. Same with Eubanks. Yeah, exactly. I like Eubanks and I like Watford, but the lock is Williams. Yeah. How's my boy been playing? I know I, I talked about him what, two, was that Friday? He's been okay, actually. He's actually been decent. Not shooting the ball well, but doing I mean, a little bit of everything else. Yeah, he's been he's fine. Two games, 23 plus. I mean, he's my guy. Two others, 15 plus, and then the other eight. Like, th- yeah, that's. Sounds about right. Um, yeah. I mean, he's playing decent minutes, though. It's not like he's the worst player in the world. What about Josh Hart? Where's, like yeah. Oh, well, by a long shot. Man, Portland is just no good right now. Well, he, and he didn't play against Minnesota last game either, right? I don't think so. It's hard to want to spend 7500 on him. I know. That's a scary proposition. Because, like, oh. he's not that good as, as your best player that, that – that's a scary know. thought. Mm-hmm. What about is, is Keon Johnson still playing a ton of minutes, or is he just doing nothing with it? I mean, I'm good with Keon Johnson. Yeah. I mean, he's going to have to play. Again, I don't know. Like, this this scares me that he played 20 minutes and put up a, a three. Yeah, definitely. I mean. Yeah, that that's a scary. Although, but if he does start, like, I, I, I think he can, he can play at 3,900. I agree. Um, all right. Minnesota side of this ball game. So, let's see. Ant Man is he? He's closer to out, right? Yeah, he's doubtful. He's not playing. P. Bev, questionable. 
Torian Prince that day we were like, oh, if he starts, he went off. That's a, that's his thirty. This one right here, we talked about him that day. Yeah, which, which was insane. But he's he's questionable with a back injury. I, I mean, this man right here is just looking like a continued good play with no end. Agreed. Definitely blowout concerns here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At home, big, yeah. big blowout concerns. Like, I bet this spread is almost as big as these to Miami. I'm gonna look right now. Miami is a 15 point favorite. Minnesota is a 15 point favorite. Wow. Yeah. So heavy blowout concerns. Definitely. Um, that said, like at 8200, D'Lo, he does look good, man. I- I'm with you. Uh, right. For I sure. Even, but so, like, so here's the thing. So, do you look at a guy like Malik Beasley again? Didn't he get ejected last game? Yeah, I think he did. I mean, his price is up a little bit, but probably not enough. Definitely can right. Malik Beasley again. Right. I mean, yeah, I mean, he played only 21 minutes and had, yeah, he played, he got ejected. Yeah, so. Yeah, exactly. He probably, probably would have gotten blowout run. Right. I mean, they jumped his price like they should have jumped, you know, the other people's prices, but that's DFS for you. Especially if Beverly's out. Right. Well, so if he's out, I mean, do you look at a guy like Noel as well? Maybe. Like, does he get some run, like, later on? You know, does he get any run at all, I should say, but then does he get it later on? Because he got it when what's-his-face stepped out, when he got ejected. Yeah, I mean, I think he definitely gets the blowout run, but I don't want to only play him if he only gets the blowout run. So your first part of the question, like, is he going to get run anyways, is more pertinent. I don't know. I think it just means I like d more. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, all right. Anything else on the Minnesota side? No, unless, like, guys all of a sudden, are, you know, more guys are out. Right, right. And that's a different ball game, but that happens every every slate we make a video. It's like, oh, this guy's out. Yeah, exactly. You can't, can't right, go. Can't play with that. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Utah, Dallas, everyone's fully healthy for them. This is a slow game. Yeah, it is. Um, my favorite piece of this whole game is Gobert at 7,900, but, like, far from a must. Yeah. Under 8K, though, like, I think he's always solid. Right, right, yeah. Under 8K, you're always willing to take that chance. Um, I mean, for me, from, again, I don't really like anything from the Utah side. I probably won't touch it just because of the pace of play. Um, but that's just me. I don't mind Gobert at all. And Mitchell's obviously Mitchell, so he can go off at any point in time. Yeah, agreed. Um, yeah, I want to talk about one guy from Portland when we're done with Dallas that we forgot. Yeah. So from- Luca, Luca's probable. So I imagine he's in his Yep. Brunson's questionable. And then Hardaway's out. Kleber, is Kleber playing? I don't know, but does it even matter? Well, I mean, does it matter for Dwight Powell? I mean, like it's Rudy Gobert, but no. I'm not playing Dwight Powell on this slate, anyways. Yeah. So I mean, I don't. Know. I think for me, probably it's Luca or Bust on the side. Yeah, same. Powell hasn't been awful. I'll give him that, but I'm still not playing him. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Dallas is a team I hardly ever play. It's Luca or Bust, and if you can get to Luca, sure. But point guards harder to get to. We're already locking Williams. Right. Some of the good value plays are at point guard. Jordan Poole, we're, we're going to talk about shortly. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of that. Going back to Portland real quick, because the guy that is shooting guard and small forward eligible, didn't play last game, but if he plays tonight, I think it's close to a lock. Elijah Hughes. That's a kid from that was at Houston as part of that trade, right? I mean, Utah, not Houston. Utah, Utah. yeah. I mean, yeah, calling yeah. him a lock, I guess, was way too far, because clearly he's not that productive, but... Depending on if he starts or not, he could be really viable at 3K, I, bet, I guess is how I should put it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, extremely viable. I mean, and I mean, he got a bunch of minutes. He didn't do anything with it, but that doesn't mean that could change. I mean, Phoenix defensively versus Minnesota defensively are two totally different polar opposite teams. Agreed. Um, yeah, and I think he'll be low, like, on the people's radars, too. All right. I'm Lakers. Well, because everyone, no one's looking at him now. Right, right. That, that's a good call right there. Um, Lakers, Spurs. 
LeBron is is this his common common questionable? Yeah, he's I think yeah. he's playing. Okay. So LeBron and then Horton Tucker is probable. So anything excite you from that side? Yeah, LeBron. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, because the pace of play is gonna be through the roof. I mean and he, that, he just put up seventy. He just put up seventy and like a comeback win against Golden State. I think he's a great play again tonight. I do think a lot of people will be on him, but I love the small forward eligibility. I mean, yeah, you got no time. You got plenty of value. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, man. Like honestly, there's other studs. Luca Jokic is again on this slate, but he's probably my favorite. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Well, you see what oh, he was saying Curry on the other side if he plays. Well, that's that's a big if too, right? What about any like a value pieces like a Reeves? I know he's been starting. I don't know if he's been doing much. No, because there's too many guys on other like Portland, like yeah, Portland guys and then the Golden State guys. Right. So yeah, Jakob. I mean, Dejounte Murray. Like we got that's huge. That's massive. If if he's in, I like him a lot. If he's out, lock in Trey Jones. You have to. You can't lock him in fast enough. Agreed. I don't even know where the hell he is. He's thirty five. David Njoku, franchise tagged by the Browns. Great. <laughs> I mean, not really, I'm not really excited about it. Do you think they – is it because is it this is a little off topic? Is it because of Hooper? Is Hooper just not doing what they want him to do? Stinks. No, it's I mean, they, I, they play a lot of two tight end sense. I hope they let go of Hooper. He's so bad. <laughs> just go Harrison Bryant and Njoku. I like Harrison Bryant a lot, actually. Harrison Bryant helped me win a tournament on an early only fleet. So, yeah, he, he's on my good side, too. Yeah, Hooper stinks. Yeah. Um, all right, anyways, but yeah, he's a, he's a lock if, he's, if, if DeJounte Murray's out. Mm-hmm. Like, that's your two guard spots. Okay, set it and move on. And it's so funny how DFS works. I know we both were like, Kelvin Johnson's like never a guy we play. Yeah. He went nuts. Did he? Yeah, against Charlotte. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so... Look at the shot, though. I don't think he's oh, ever taken that many shots in his career. He was like eight. He was like nine of ten to start. He, I mean, he was red hot. He had like twenty DK points in the first quarter. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, all these secondary Spurs guys move up a lot with Murray out. Trey oh, Jones yeah. comes the lock, but then like Lonnie Walker, right? Vassell. I mean, he's questionable too. Right. So if Vassell's out. Like, does that like that even bumps up guys like Primo? Yeah, definitely. I mean, if Vassell's out, but walk, but Murray plays, I could still even see getting to like a Lottie Walker. Right. What about your boy Podol? Oh, I just he is just I, I, he's like the silent assassin. He's played like crap the like, past couple games, like especially in that spot against Charlotte, where I, I know for a fact I probably toted the shit out of him. Was like, oh my god, like Charlotte big man, like get it. Just didn't play well. Um, in thirty minutes there. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Like, I, I mean, he only had three fouls, so it wasn't foul trouble. I don't yeah. know, maybe just an off, maybe just an off game. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, you know, like not playing him because of that. I just don't think he makes. Um, I just don't think he like makes my lineup today. It's just best to get that's the way to put it. Yeah, no, I get that for sure. Um, all right, so the next is the next one, the good one. Yep, Golden State, no Curry, no Thompson, no Wiggins, no Draymond, no Peyton, no Wiseman. Okay, yeah. so this this would be a this would be a lock child. Yeah, I think Poole's a lock. Um, uh-huh. We've read this book before. I think Kaminga's a Kaminga's lock. Kaminga's a lock. Yup, love Kaminga. Yeah, I love Kaminga too. Um, Looney looks really good, also. Yup, Moody looks good. Where the hell? He's way down here. I said he, Looney, but Mooney also. Looks oh, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Looney, Mooney, even they, 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 Lee. Your boy Damian Lee definitely in play. Otto Porter. Yeah. Oh, oh God, I know. It's like it's basically like everyone. It is because, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, when you take this much usage and this many people out, I mean, yeah. I, I would not be surprised if I played four Golden State Warriors tonight. Yeah, I'm with that. Um, we've seen Golden State kind of like. Woo us in the past in spots like this, though, where they've just played a ton of guys anyways and no one's really got there. They got so many guys out tonight, though. Like, right. I mean, their whole starting five's out. 
Kaminga and Poole look like locks, and then Porter, Looney, Moody, Lee. Right. I mean, shit. And then honestly, on the other side from Denver, they played OT last night. Do you think there's any chance that Jokic sits? Yeah. Mike Malone was like bashing Steve Kerr for resting all their guys. Yeah. Uh, tonight. So, in that sense, I don't know if he's going to sit Jokic after that, but OT game last night, he scored 30 real points in the fourth quarter in overtime. I mean, played 43 minutes. Yeah, I do think there's a chance that he sits. Um, so, do you just lock in Cousins? Yeah. Like, Boogie, damn, I wish I played him that night, though. I was like, oh, God. Like, and then he went bananas when you sent me that. This night. That night, too. I, I played him that night, but uh, it didn't even matter. But that's who Boogie Cousins is. Like, right. Yeah, and God, I, is he? Oh, I would God, say he's in. If he opens it up, for sure. Absolutely. Will Barton questionable? Is that like a legit questionable? Or is that like a sprained his ankle? Doesn't appear too serious. I mean, if if he's out, you can kind of look at the backup guards. But again, the guards are so premium right now with all the other value. And then where it's like Jokic or bust, kind of like Dallas. Right, right. And if Jokic is out, it's Cousins. Right, exactly. <laughs> Insert starting center here. That's all. It right. is. And then if Jokic is out, like I do like Gordon and Barton more, but I'm not planning my night around it. Yeah, no. I hope they give us something a little bit, you know, like a little 6.30 teaser, like, ah, oh, he's going to be out. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. All right. And the last game of the night is the Knicks and the Kings. So, obviously, Rose, Walker, Grimes, and then all these down here. I mean. Well, not only them, too. Noel and uh, Todd Gibson. Yeah, and Obi, too. Yeah, but Mitchell Robinson's been playing a lot. Um, Yeah, I mean, obviously they have blown, they blew him out. So, yeah, got a bunch of their guys like Barrett lost. I love, I love RJ Barrett here. I well, this the pace that we talk. We always talk about pace and like added possessions, and the Knicks get so many of that in this spot just because they usually play play relatively slower. And Sacramento is just like a go balls to the wall type team. Yeah, I really like Barrett here, like a lot, a lot. Yeah, I mean, I also like call. Robinson too. I mean, right, right. Mitchell Robinson's a great call here. He's been playing the minutes, obviously. Last game, blow up, they blew him out. Noel and Gibson are out, and he can stay out of foul trouble. He's going to play massive, massive minutes. Yeah, I mean, God, this this man is just on a mission right now. He he was in foul trouble, and he like they lost Blaw run last night. He plays big minutes. I like Barrett a lot here. Doesn't mean he couldn't have a stinker, but I like him. A but lot. it's Sacramento. It's Sacramento too, though. So the likelihood is slimmer. Agreed. All right. Um. And then the other side of the game, Sacramento. So Davis is out. Lamb is questionable. Is he actually going to play? Questionable. Wonderful. Um, I mean, I think Fox and Sabonis are priced where they should be now. Like Fox is at 9,300. Sabonis is at 96. I mean, you know, I just don't think they make my lineup. Line up tonight. Yeah, I'm with you. Like, there's just other places I'd rather go. Um, mm-hmm. They're priced where they should be. I'm with you. Right. Right. So, yeah, I mean, that's how I feel with that one. Same. All right. All right. All right. Let's build. I'll, I'll go first. Leave Williams in there. Go pool. Go yeah. Ron. Braun. Kaminga. Yep. Um, man, I like Looney. Give me Looney. He's ideally, give me Deontay Murray. I'm going to assume he plays. And then to give me Otto Porter. I guess I used to have plenty of money to mess around with. Mm, no, five K puts us in the category of Eubanks. Yeah, I'd have no problem with Eubanks here, honestly. Right. I mean, he'll. I mean, it's not like he's not going to play. Right. Yeah. 
I have no problem with that. Like, I mean, he's I'm fine with Eubanks at 5K there. Right. Um, oh, wait, is it? What's oh, Cousins is 53, right? Or 50, Mitchell Robinson is 52 and Cousins is oh, 53. I don't have RJ Barrett here either. So, oh, right. okay, so instead of um, Murray, go Barrett. That should give you a lot of play money. The thing is, if Murray plays, I want Murray. And if Murray's out, Trey Jones is a lock. Well, right. And that's the fine line. So go Trey Jones instead of Barrett. Man, I want Barrett, but like, damn. So put him So put him at forward. He's point guard, small forward. Yeah, I guess take out Otto Porter, who I also like right. a lot, though. Right. But, I mean, you don't need Otto Porter. No. I doubt it. Yeah, what, 92? That's spider range. Butler. I guess to your point, like, no, I don't need Porter, but like, do I need Barrett on a slate like this? Renato Porter's half the price, and Golden State only has 10 guys. I think for me, he's my least favorite. Fair enough. Like, put Porter back in because I think that gives me Jokic. And, like, honestly, if, if I'm playing all these Golden State guys. Yeah, that does give you him. I mean, listen, if, if he plays, like. Right, you get LeBron and you get Jokic, and then you get all the value. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I love this lineup if Murray's out. Yeah, yeah. If Murray's out, that might be the plug. Yeah, uh, but so. All right, let's see what you got. All right, so. I'm going to go under the same assumption that what's his face is out with DeJounte. Um, and then I'm going to go with, see, like, here's it, like, okay. Uh, let's see, what do I got? Small forward, like, again, I'm just going to go Jimmy Butler here for the sake of going Jimmy Butler there. I get that. Um, and then, uh, at centers, it's still gross to me. If I go Mitchell Robinson... Can I get uh, – oh, sh- nope, I'm not going to be able with that. I go LeBron here, 76 gives me who. Edwards is not playing. Okay. So if I go – he's forward, forward. Okay, so I can't move anyone there. So he's going to be gone. If we're going to the assumption, I'm going to put in Jakob Podol. Who do you like? I like Rudy Gobert far more than Podol, but maybe that's wrong. No, I think the other part of it for me is like I think his – He'll be more involved if what's his face is out. Oh, yeah, sure. no doubt. So, I mean, here. I hate this right here. This though. range sucks. So, like, again. It's like Barrett over Butler in this lineup. Yeah, well, that would get me to 54. Yeah, which would get you Mitchell Robinson or. Well, yeah, Robinson. Even if I went Robinson there and then. Uh, not Jimmy Butler. Going Barrett, which is a good card with that too. Eighty-one gets me who? Go Bear, Jacob Podol. If I wanted to go fifty-four instead and switch the center spot, like I can always go Boogie Cousins if what's his face is out. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's not no harm in saving room for that either. Also, we're like ignoring the Portland guys, which is interesting. Right. Yeah. I mean, we have the main, which is. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard. I mean, because, again, there's so much value in Golden State, and that's the kicker. It's cheaper also is the thing. Right. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to finish this build on the assumption on um, the opposite. Just to, I'm going to do it as if Murray plays, just to, just to be diff- difficult and different. Uh, so that's the other thing. Like, if Murray and Vassell are out, like, I want Lonnie Walker. I mean, there's a lot I want out of San Antonio yeah. if those guys are out. Tell the Johnsons of the world. Right. All right. So if I go like here, like Jimmy Butler here, can I get, let's see, where is, like, again, like there's so many assumptions, like, is Yoke again? Is he out? Like, 
I just, yeah. Uh, all right, let's just do, for the sake of doing something, let's see what I got over here. If I go Beasley here, which I don't love, but I just want to see what he gets me. Beasley gets me, I don't want Trey Young in this spot. Um, I, this is, oh, okay, let's do that. Let's do D-Lo. And just hope that Portland stays relatively close. And then that gives me like a Keldon Johnson. I don't know if I want to chase that. I can go Capella if I really want to. I can go Grant. I mean, there's options here. I don't love it, but you guys get the general gist. Yeah, I mean, Keldon Johnson looks good if what's his name is out. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, and even, like you said, you know, we take Grant as a mid tier. I'd much rather go Keldon Johnson. Those guys are out. I can always go down to my boy Bogdan, who's going to give me a consistent thirty. Or I, you know, or I jump off Jimmy Butler, which is also a viable option. Yeah, no doubt about any of that. I mean, it's just so hard to know right now until we get the full injury reports, which might not happen until <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's going to be guys that are out that we don't even think are out. Right, right. That we, yeah, that we have no idea. So, as always, fun slate to break down. Um, I know we're on here a little bit early, which some people like means we don't have as much info as we would have if we came out later, but gives you more time to watch it. So that's all I got. You got anything else? That's all I got too. All right, sweet. Thanks a lot, guys. See you tomorrow. And uh, it's your last week, so I'm enjoying every minute of it. Yes, sir. Yeah, it should be a fun last week. Let's get after it. Yeah, thanks, guys. All right, see ya.